Hi friends and happy autumn. Uh, it's Sarah Baldwin from Bella Luna Toys and on this Sunday with Sarah, because it's October and Halloween is coming, I thought I would talk to you this week about some ideas for Halloween. Um, I am a big advocate uh, of dress up play for children. As an early childhood teacher, I know that uh, dress up play is is vital for children, role playing. And so as you're thinking about uh, a costume for your child this year, I want you to think about um, instead of buying a, a polyester throwaway costume that will be worn once, think about a quality costume that will hold up year round to invite imaginative play. Um, a lot of Halloween costumes, traditional Halloween costumes, are really scary for young children. Even if a child seems attracted to a monster costume or a Dracula costume, often children are attracted to the things that they find most scary to work it out. But, but my suggestion is to stay away from scary costumes for children under, under the age of nine. Um, my favorite costumes are costumes that are inspired by fairy tales or literature. I'm going to show you some of my favorites in a bit. But uh, also quality garment type costumes, they're, they're more eco-friendly. They're not going to end up in a landfill. Um, they like heirloom quality toys. Good costumes will be hold up and be passed down uh, and uh, hold up for, for year-long play. So here are a few of my favorite costumes. So one of my favorite costumes for Halloween is a classic, and that's Robin Hood. And uh, you can become, or your child can become Robin Hood with a Robin Hood cap like this. This one has uh, real feathers, including a pheasant feather, and a matching hooded green cape. This one's made of heavy-duty suede cloth and I love this because it's sturdy and it will just, uh, it will hold up for years. I remember when my son Harper was in first grade, he really wanted to be Robin Hood for Halloween. And I made his costume and he wore that cape for years, years afterwards. And he wasn't just Robin Hood, sometimes he was a gnome or a huntsman. Your child could become a huntswoman. And with an accessory like this wooden bow and arrow, you've got a complete costume that's really going to inspire a child's imagination. Another thing I love about Robin Hood costume is you can read stories about Robin Hood with your child and use it to inspire a love of classic literature and stories. And most of the costumes I'm going to show you today will do just that. So I love capes, like the cape I just showed you in the Robin Hood costume. Capes come, we have capes in all kinds of colors at Bella Luna Toys and fabrics. They're just, a child puts on a cape and they instantly will transform into another character. So this, uh, this cape is made of red crushed velvet. It's so shiny. It's got this um, long hood with a tassel. So this simple cape makes a wonderful Little Red Riding Hood costume. But a child will also put this in their dress up basket. They can become a, a king or a queen or a princess. Um, and this is another kind of costume. If your child is Little Red Riding Hood, you can read the fairy tale together. Read the original Grimm's fairy tale. And, um, and it's another type of costume that will inspire a love of literature and stories. Knights are a wonderful costume. Um, children love to play brave knights. Um, we carry a couple of simple knights tunics like this. All you need is a tunic. This one is, is in suede leather. We also have one made of jute. Um, just put this on and a few accessories like this knight's helmet. This is a cardboard but a really heavy duty cardboard made in Germany and it's got a, a back flap and a visor that comes off and on. You can also just take the visor off to make another type of helmet. And with a sword and a shield, 
These are beyond mere costume accessories. These are really high quality heirloom wooden toys that will inspire lots of play. In one of my other videos, I talked about the difference between gun play and sword play for children and why I, I uh, like to, in my class, promote sword play. Um, but another very fun costume that will inspire lots of year-round play. So now I want to show you one of our very best-selling dress-up items for Bella Luna Toys. And this is a bestseller year after year. And these are our silk fairy skirts. And one reason I love these is the quality of the silk. They're 100% pure silk, which just feels so nice against a child's skin. And um, at Bella Luna Toys, I always say we're, we're nourishing a child's senses as well as developing their imaginations. Um, so this skirt is reversible and it has accessories that can go with it like this uh, fairy garland headband or a silk veil with a matching silk veil with this rainbow veil on top of his, uh, the headband so a child can become a princess or a bride or a fairy. But another thing I love about the fairy skirts is children love to wear these just as clothes. They wear them all the time or often to a birthday party or tea party or around the house um, and as part of their dress up basket for great play. And finally, say it's really close to Halloween and you're panicking because you still don't have a costume. Um, there's always face paint. And we carry a couple kinds at Bella Luna Toys. Um, I'm really happy to uh, have these face pencils back in stock. Um, pencils are great. These are uh, made with safe ingredients. They've been safety tested for children. The nice thing about pencils is that it won't get your hands all dirty and it gives you a lot more control over the face. So you can, you can use face pencils uh, to become an animal, a lion, or tiger, uh, a clown, of course. You know what you can do. You can paint butterflies or flowers on a child's face, and you've got an instant costume. We also sell natural face paint um, that comes in little pots that you, you use with an applicator or sponge. But one thing I like about this brand is that it's the, all natural ingredients. Um, that are eco-friendly and 100% safe. So those are just a few ideas and some of my favorites for Halloween, but I'm sure you can use your imagination and think of many more. But I hope that gives you some ideas for things to consider when choosing a costume for your child. Is it, is it eco-friendly? Is it going to uh, hold up? Is it quality and hold up to, to year-round play and encourage imaginative play? Is it a costume that will inspire um, a love of stories or literature? And again, if you're a parent of a younger child, I would encourage you to steer away from, from scary stories and scary costumes. Um, I'll put links below to, to some of these costumes where you can find them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're enjoying these videos, click the little bell icon to be notified each time I post a new one. So happy Halloween, happy autumn. Share your ideas of your favorite costumes. I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.